it's amazing how we get so close to it, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Try to get this close to the White House, right? No, you can't. I think they would tackle us well before we got here. And you know, in the old days, you could get even closer. I mean, I used to go in and out of here all the time. It, uh, it was very open when uh, Omar Torrijos was president here. I spent a lot of time in that building and around it. Back when I was an economic hitman, and, and Omar Torrijos was resisting me in a very big way. My job was to bribe him, to corrupt him, bribe, legally bribe, by huge loans from the World Bank and the Inter-American Development Bank, to get him to accept these huge loans and have his country become totally dependent on us. Uh, looks like something's going on. Yeah, the, the, the presidential guard the, is, uh, the guard is out. Is roaming. And my job was to get uh, Torrijos to accept these huge loans that ultimately would bankrupt this country and make it a servant to us. But he wouldn't accept it. Uh, he was one of those few at the time that wouldn't accept it. And he used to say to me, Juanito, he called me Juanito. He'd say, Juanito, you know, I don't need your damn money. I got a good life. I got a good house. I got good cars. I got a good wife. What I need is freedom for my people. What I need is to see Latin America become truly developed in terms of helping the poorest of the poor pull themselves up by their bootstraps. What I need is to see our resources here in Panama and also in all the other countries of Latin America used to help the poor people, not simply to benefit the big multinational corporations. That's what I need, not your money. So don't even bother to try to corrupt me anymore. Your contention is that uh, what's happening here now in the, in the Americas, uh, Central America, Latin America, is um, actually a return to uh, authentic democracy or authentic capitalism? My contention is really that we have created an extremely dangerous world and it's a world where, where what I call mutant capitalism or predatory capitalism has taken over a very very greedy form of capitalism that benefits only a few very rich people whether it's in the United States or in other countries and that we must move to a new form of capitalism that benefits more people if we will have any hope for our children and grandchildren, great-grandchildren. And Latin America right now is taking a leadership in that. There's uh, 10 countries in Latin America now who have voted in presidents that are saying, listen, we're happy to sell our oil in Ecuador to the big oil companies, but the big oil companies have to give a fair share of the profits to our people and take care of the environment, not just go in and destroy the environment. And Bolivia is saying, we're happy to do the same with our gas, but it has to help our people and take care of the environment. And there's this whole wave sweeping through Latin America. Every one of these 10 countries, for most of my lifetime, was run by a series of brutal dictators, most of them supported by the CIA. Every one of those 10 countries, and only recently, there's been this whole wave of democratically elected presidents who are saying, no, no more exploitation. We have the resources, we don't want foreign aid. We have our own resources and we want to use them to help our poor people pull themselves up from, from, by their bootstraps. Nishi?